Hello everyone, welcome to Fair Channel. My name is Tomo. Today I want to talk about the Technical Intern Training Program. Let's get started. Fair Channel. So nowadays Japan society has facing a huge problem in the lack of manpower or workforce. Currently, Japan has opened up a several working visa for foreign for foreign country, and trying to solve that problem. For example, specified skill visa and technical intern training program. Today, we want to talk about more about technical intern training program (TITP) in Philippines. And categorize of work available for this TITP. Japan resorted to creating a technical intern training program that benefits the neighboring countries, including the Philippines. The main purpose of this program is not only to address the workforce crisis in Japan, but also to transfer skills and knowledge to the countries. According to the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, there are 77 major job categories under the Technical Intern Training Program and they are available for Filipino workers in Japan. However, those only Filipinos who qualified as Technical Intern Trainers can benefit from the program. Then, they will undergo training and internship which will be conducted by the Japanese International Training Corporation Organization. It's called JITCO. Furthermore, Filipino applicants are required to study Japanese language and culture. Otherwise, he or she will not pass their qualifying process. Here are the list of pre-qualification as a Filipino intern trainee of JITCO. Pre-qualifications for a Filipino intern trainee. So here are a list of uh, qualification for a Filipino applying for intern trainee. They have to be uh, Filipino citizens, 18 to 40 years old of age, at least high school graduates, certified as having an actual training course in Japanese language, work ethics, Japanese cross culture. Trade test certificate holder. Never been in Japan. Currently employed in the Philippines. Physically and mentally fit. During the last day of the training period, a Japanese employer will select qualified trainees. The selected trainees will report it to the office to get their list of requirements. Then, they will begin preparing the documents for the letter of recommendations. It's called LOR. Before they can proceed to the Japanese language training, they must complete all the documents for the program. And after they finish the training, they can start processing the visa. And for the letter part is the program of overseas employment exit clearance. It's called OEC. I'm going to show you some of the demand jobs under TITP and its qualifications. Here are some in-demand jobs under TITP. First one, housekeepers. Qualification for housekeepers are at least 23 years old with a minimum one year working experience in housekeeping services. TESTA NC number two certification with a Japanese language level, at least N4 level. Next job is caregiver. Qualification for caregivers are willing to learn Japanese language and pass higher than JLPT N4 level. Must have TESDA caregiving NC number two. Must have two years experience or graduated of four year bachelor degree related to the healthcare. Construction worker. Qualification for construction workers are 
must have at least two to three years of working experience in construction industry. Candidates must have at least high school diploma. And the other jobs under TITP are farmer, hotel and restaurant staff, English tutor, shipbuilder, electrical jobs. Once both parties, Japan and the Philippines, has signed the MOU, then they will start a more skills and semi-skilled worker in Japan. Once they signed, they have more work available, such as welder, singer, dancer, maintenance, manufacturing work, engineer, scaffolder, and more. Next one, I want to move on to the safety precaution to avoid illegal recruitment. To avoid it, you should only deal with POEA, accredited recruitment agencies. Beware of illegal recruiters by using the name of other licensed agencies. Do not transact business outside. The transaction must be done inside the POEA, registered office address only. You should verify the job using the website if it has a POEA approved job offer. You should be aware of when engaging with online and blind job ads, recruitment agencies. Do not transfer money. During the application phrase, they are not allowed to collect fees. You must avoid recruitment that offering the faster development because of their connections in their immigration office at the airport. So these are safety precautions to avoid illegal recruitment. Now I want to talk about not only intern program, but other visas also available. The Japanese government has decided on implanting a new working visa category, which is the specified skill visa. Under the newest working visa, it permits foreign workers without professional qualifications and no experience needed. However, acquire this visa, application must pass the skill level test and also JLPT N4 and higher. For more details about the specified skill visa, we also have our video about specified skill visa. Please check it out. So today we talk about technical intern trainee program. If you are planning to work in Japan, please contact us for more information about TITP or the specified skill visa. Also, if you have more question or concern about working in Japan, please do not hesitate to contact us. You can contact us from description box below. And thank you very much for watching. See you next video. Bye.